This is an exciting time. And the smell of the grass, the chill in the air, the fog that sits in the, uh, in the air a little bit in the mornings, crickets at night, all those things that bring back those camp memories. There's nothing like the beginning of preseason camp. A new day dawns for Purdue football as training camp opens for the first time in the Daryl Hazel era. Over the next few weeks, more than 100 players will immerse themselves in Coach Hazel's system and compete for spots in the starting lineup. But first, they've got to settle in as roommates at Kerry Quad. So I think my roommate is Dan Monoroso. I have, should be fun, me and him got to know each other. We're the same name, so we got that goal for us. Receiver, combination, quarterback. It's nice to be back in, in carry. I can't wait to use my stepbrother's joke on him. There's, uh, there's so much rude activities, but he probably won't find, he probably won't laugh and he'll say, this is why we have friends. Is yours, big, is yours the same size? Same size. Yeah. I thought we'd get a corner and get bigger. You wish. Bruce Gaston knows the routine well. Look like my roommate has already moved in. First day of camp is really a uh, report day, but you know, just really getting mentally ready. Tent, camp is the time when we just clear everything out, man. Focus on football. No other worries, anything else is going on. We're looking forward to camp. But under a new coach, this camp is new to everyone. You know what? They're probably not real sure what they should expect about camp with the new staff. But what um, we'll share with them is that this is going to be a tough training camp. And we're going to go extremely hard. And it's really about the preparation that they put in in these next three and a half to four weeks before we get to that first game. Uh, we're going to prepare like crazy. And then uh, after we prepare, we're going to execute. And those are the two things that we're really, really emphasizing. At the first team meeting, players receive the A Players Manual. Named for Coach Hazel's insistence that players strive for an A in everything they do, it embodies 27 years of college coaching experience. The origin actually came from Jim, Jim Tressel back in the mid-80s. And it started, I think it had like 80 pages or something in it. And now it's 533 pages. So it's grown over 200 pages in the last two years. It basically has everything you can think of in it um, in terms of anything you'll need for success, not only on the field, but off the field. You know, it has a section on you know, integrity, motivation. Um, then it just has stuff on just football stuff. This A player's manual, he doesn't talk about our players just remaining eligible. Your best players better get your best grades. <laughs> if you want to come to Purdue, you, you better be ready to be, to be to be the man that God hoped for you to be, to be the student that you and your parents hoped for you to be, and to be the player that you dream of being. All three of them. And if you don't want to do all three, you could probably go somewhere where they just let you on easy street. It ain't gonna be here. You're gonna leave your comfort zone and everything. That's what we need to be about. 
doesn't matter what we're doing, whether it's a walkthrough, a meeting, a practice, you got to do it better than the last time. That's how we're going to get better. That's how we're going to win a championship. Better than the last time. That's what every single guy in this room, that's your commitment to the guy that you're sitting next to, across the room, in the back of the room. That's your commitment. And you're always trying to find the identity of a football team. What's this team going to be about? The team also learned the meaning behind Coach Hazel's theme for this season. I took a tour with my family the day after the spring game with uh, David Tate, one of the professors here on campus, and we were riding around and he's telling us about this building and this statue and monument and we get to the mechanical engineering building. Following the dedication of the original mechanics building, now Hevelin Hall, on January 19, 1894, an explosion and fire destroyed the building and President Smart vowed to rebuild it one brick higher. Which means we're going to do things better than they've ever been done before. And that's what this program's got to be about this year. Every single thing that we do, whether it's a meeting, whether it's a walkthrough, whether it's a practice, whether it's a game, it's got to be one brick higher, just a little bit better than it's ever been done here. So uh, that's our theme, and it's on everything right now. It's got to get a lot better. Every single guy in the room has to get a lot better handle every situation that arises. That's about maturity because there are some things that you're not going to be able to prepare for throughout the course of the season that are going to happen and we got to handle them. That's maturity. That's maturity. Team on three. One, two, three. three. Join us next time on One Brick Higher for an inside look at the battle to become a starting quarterback in the Big Ten.